When you hear Bluetooth, you may immediately think cell phones, but to a 30-year-old Marine Corporal, it means getting around. And Air Force Master Sergeant George Maurer explains how doing that is getting much easier. This is Corporal Joshua Belial's fourth set of legs. I can do about, you know, five times the distance with these legs uh, that I could in a normal, just normal walking on flat level planes. They are his power knees. Uh, they each have a motor in them uh, and it actually drives forward when I walk. It actually powers that knee through the step. The power knees are as high tech as they come, powered through Bluetooth technology. So each you know, has a transmitter and receiver in each leg and they uh, talk to each other and try to mimic the stride length that the other one's doing. If I speed up, the other one can realize it's doing it and it'll speed up as well. They weren't originally designed for double amputees because the prosthetic was meant to take cues from a real leg. But it works well for Corporal Belial, who lost his legs when an IED hit his convoy in Fallujah, Iraq in 2006. The IED went off directly underneath me and took off basically everything that was hanging over the ledge of the seat, my legs. Um, and then it killed my sergeant in front of me and my uh, good friend next to me. Uh, my gunner lost his right leg. I shattered my hip. I have 32 pins in my hip. I broke my pelvis, so I have a six inch screw holding that together. I lost both legs above the knee. I broke four fingers, broke my jaw, broke my nose, lacerated kidney. So I recovered well, I think, and great care here and done well. Today, he's one of less than a handful of Marines at Walter Reed Army Medical Center who have tested and used the Bluetooth prosthetics. It's a lot of hip control. In my other legs, I usually have to use all my thigh to power through things, but since these are moving on their own, uh, then I actually just kind of have to lift and shift my weight a little bit. He says they're a bit heavier than the other two microchip prosthetics he's worn, but they require much less effort to operate. Just standing and doing everyday things, you know, changing my shirt, you know, you know, brushing my teeth, I can actually just stand there throwing the football back and forth. I can stand without, you know, holding on to anything. If they're not programmed right, they kind of do their own thing sometimes, and they'll kick for no reason. Like, you'll just be standing there and be like, er, er, and just kick off to the side. But after two months, he's got his power legs in shape, although he's not been able to master the stairs just yet. They've improved his balance, but he uses two canes as a precaution. Sometimes when you go near a computer or something, you'll hear the computer start frizzing, you know, so it does do that a lot, and I'll be like, I'm sorry, and I have to turn my legs off. The only other time Corporal Belial turns his legs off, except when he's not using them, is at night when he charges them. There we go. Air Force Master Sergeant George Maurer, Pentagon Channel News.